In this part, we will look at another way of doing reflections. Perry Harvest suggested not to use the Lambert shader and instead use the architectural multi out shader, which wasn't available by the time of that recording. So, why would we use the, the architectural multi out shader? First of all, we can have the same flexibility as a Lambert shader by taking out only the components that we want. Second, because of the reflection, the glossy reflections of the Lambert shader will be too noisy in animations, and to have everything in a physically accurate way. So let's see how we can implement this in our scene. So using this scene, let's just make a, save this in memory to compare it later on. And the way to use this method is first of all we have to bring the architectural multi out shader. If you look at the multi out shader, we can take out the diffuse results, the raw diffuse value. What is the difference between both? Is the result is the composited value using everything in your scene. The raw is without any uh, light or environment attribution to your scene. So let's see what this node will replace. We will want to have the reflection raw piped into the base color. And let's just take this one back to black and have a 0.6. If you look at the 0.6 right now, the scene is behaving properly. We can see that the colors of the red sphere are on the floor. We still didn't, didn't implement the reflections or the glossy reflection in that case or, and, or the mask of the reflection on the floor. We're just seeing the straight reflection from an architecture being laid, layered on top of another architecture diffuse channel. Now, so far, the colors of the grid seems to be the same, so there's nothing wrong in there. The reflection of the light seems to be brighter, but the sphere is still reflecting and it's retaining its colors. I did notice, however, that there is a tint of green on the white highlights. Didn't know how to remove that. That might be attributed to the uh, one of the scene elements, which is the light grid A, which has a value of 5. That might be causing the whole scene to go into green or the reflection to go green because of the high value and the energy conserving parameter. So looking at the scene right now, let's try to implement the mask first. So in our old file, we had the grid and we built our own incident shader just because the Fong or the Lambert didn't have one. In this case, we don't need one. So the only thing we will need to do is pipe this one into the reflection color and we can see that everything is working fine. So now we have our masking. As for the cloud, for the glossy reflections, we won't, we won't need to be using the scalar change range because the range in the architectures is the correct one. So we'll take this one, the output of the scalar node and pipe it into the reflection glossy. Put it as a 16. This one and delete unused nodes. Let's check our scene. So let's do a fast test render.
you can notice that the reflect the rendering underneath the sphere went pretty fast this time compared to the other last scene where there was a lot of shadows area lights and soft reflections over here from the glossy this used to take a lot more to render the overall scene rendering seems to be faster and in par with the right part of the scene because we're not using any Lambert an old algorithm to calculate our scene however the reflection is a little bit off I like the reflection of the old method now using the reflection result instead of the reflection raw in my test proved that I can get some of those things back especially the one on the floral area but because it is the result it's not the pure reflection so that's being composite over the diffuse channel and the sphere will be blue let's try that and see by just by changing the result of the raw give it to the base color Even at 5, at a value of 5, the light grid is a little bit dimmed. Um, I will definitely need to do a lot more, a little bit more investigation into the sport and see exactly how it's being used. But overall, it's a faster way of doing reflections for, for all general purposes if you want to have your own controller instead of relying on the diffuse part. Probably for still images, if you want to have more control, you would use the Lambert shaders but for animation I would definitely go with the architectural multi-out instead of using the Lambert so let's just get this one back to color and there you have it Thanks for watching and I hope you use those techniques in your daily work.